Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be the new mods for April 1st of 2021. This is what you're looking for. Please stay tuned. Alright folks, let's go ahead and jump into the new mods for today. So we're going to start with the updates in just a second, but if you're looking for a specific mod uh, down below in the YouTube slider bar, you should be able to skip ahead to whatever mod you are looking for. So the updates we have for today... We have an update to the Amazon D9 Super Pack by Ericsson, an update to the Manure Dealer Pack by TF2020 Mods, an update to the Placeable High Set by Losu Modding, and an update to the Horse Joker 6CT by Rick Black Labelli uh, TWD Modding. And then continuing from there, we also have updates to, oh, I just moved my stuff around, sorry. Updates to uh, the Lizard Underbelly Trailer by Mantrid, update to the Decompactor Combined uh, by RL Modding FSI Group, and update to the Small Sawmill and the Agres BGA by Zottlesocked. And continuing from there, we also have updates to Green River 2019 by Bart Richard and NLD. Uh, we have an update to the Bruns 25G by Rick Black uh, Labelli. We also have an update to the Cow Pasture by Richie F and the uh, Valmet 118 by Andres Roca. Continuing from there, we have more updates. We have updates to the Empty Pallets Production by Zadlzakt. Uh, also have updates to the uh, Pellet Storage House, the Nursery, and the Lime and Salt Production, also all by Zadlzakt. So there you go. Those are your updates for today. And our first new mod for the day is Seasons Geo Eastern Norway. So if you're looking for that, there you go. Seasons Geo Eastern Norway uh, by Grubby. So that is available to you. Um, there you have it. Let's go ahead and get into the rest of the mods for today. All right, first up, we have the Matria Tina by, or the Matria Tina 2418 by uh, Nico Do 55. This is 29.15 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms. Uh, if you're on console, it's going to run you 20 slots. And one other thing I forgot to mention, the truck that I like, the Magis, I can't remember what it's called, the Magis Deutz, something like that. Um, it's on the uh, it's on the mod hub now for all platforms. It's listed as a Lizard 232 for consoles, and it's 50 slots for consoles. So um, that was released to console, which is awesome. So that's, that's one of my new favorite trucks right there definitely go check that truck out uh but anyhow the lizard matry let's go into the store here under tools under trailers down here at the very end we have the lizard matry 2014 38,000 to buy 37,000 max liter capacity it holds these guys right here which is an interesting combo of crop so uh, if we go in here main color can be adjusted to that if you'd like or design color can be adjusted as well and we'll see the design color here in a second trailer board we have twin radial twin radial twin radial P404 and back to twin radial. Uh, Michelin, we have the cargo X bibs, cargo X bibs, the cargo X bib HDs, the cargo X bib, bib HDs again, and the excesses, then back to the cargo X bibs. Uh, Midas, we have those bad boys, and then we have those under knock in right there. And then we're the liz lizard, which I'll try to make sure I get through all of them on there. Yep, there we go. We got through all of them. We'll go through them again here. Uh, so there you go. Lots of uh, different uh, options for you. And we went through trailer works, didn't we? Yeah, we went through trailer work. Okay, light type. So if we go back to the back of the vehicle here, you can see light type down here. Light type one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and back to one. I can do without mudguard or with mudguard. So with and without. And then if we go to capacity, 24,700 liters, 29,500 liters, 34,600 liters, and 37,000 liters of the max capacity there. And then back down to, th oh, that's right it's got the side tip for 34600 um and the other side for 34600 then back down to the 247 oh design color by the way it's, it's this stuff on the side here sorry i thought it was going to be the the tin around the edge but that's right it's that there so there you go the uh at matriatina you hop in it here oh we can adjust the hitch up and down which is nice and again we can fill it up with oh there's more things on there no, maybe not. There's not any potatoes on there now, though. So I don't know. It's a little bit different. Left control I to unload. Nice unloading animation. So there you go. That is the Matria Atina 2418. Next up, we have this. This is the NMC Road Scraper. This is by North Modding Company. 1.42 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. This is... Oh gosh, I'm going to make a list here. It's going to run you two slots if you're on console. Both options are. There's two options available. If we go in the store under tools... Scroll down to miscellaneous. Right here, we have the cultivator version, which is the one I have, then the road scraper roller. Um, so my understanding is they hook up to forwarders, as it says down here. They're five meters wide, and they are designed to 
Um, we'll just read it off the mod of here. NMC Road Scraper is a handy tool for your forwarder. Use the forwarder grapple to drag the NMC Road Scraper behind to clear and clean the road. In the shop, you can either buy the plow and cultivator version of the roller version. For the plow and cultivator version, you can um, enter the road scraper and enable allow create field. So let's go ahead and hop in here. It took me a little bit to get it set up. Um, this is the cultivator version, which I still am not seeing in allow create fields on there. But anyhow, it is removing the uh, road tracks behind me. It does get a little bit crazy back there if you make turns. But uh, otherwise, yeah, it's kind of a nifty idea. It probably needs like a significant amount more weight on it just to keep it down on the ground. Uh, but yeah, if I raise it up like that, it gets, I feel like it gets even worse the higher I raise it. So anyhow, there you go. That is the NMC Road Scraper. Moving on from there, we have the NMC Backhoe a Snowplow. This is by North Modding Company. This is 1.6 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms and two slots on console. Found in the store under miscellaneous. Right here, this guy right here, $21.99. Also, these guys are about $2,400 to buy. I don't think there's any customization. Oh, just a little bit on the color, so you can do color. And then you can do that as well, so for, for both of those guys there. But uh, the Backhoe Snowplow, $21.99 to buy, option one. And it's kind of hard to see because it literally just goes down to the ground. But if you look at the rotor there, option one and option two, again, you can change the design color. And you can change the main color to anything on there. So this is designed to go with the Hudig. I don't have snow here anyway, so I didn't even bother downloading the Hudig to put it on, but there you go. It sits on there on the ground just like that. Doesn't matter what I do, it just slaps back down to the ground, but you can hook it up and it is designed to move snow uh, with the Hudig. So there you go. That might just be the thing you're looking for. All right, next up we have the Lizard Cultivator 3M. Uh, I know you guys are gonna be very excited about another three meter cultivator, but here you go. This is by Gamer HZS FSH, 1.94 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms. Uh, this is gonna run you two slots on console. So I get a drink of water in the store under cultivators. Down here at the very end, the Lizard Cultivator 3M, 7,200 to buy, nine miles an hour, which is standard. Three meter working with, of course, 100 horsepower required. We go into here, we can adjust the design color to anything on there and the main color to anything on there. So there you go, a couple customization options. It does cultivate at, you'll be shocked to know this, three meters wide. If we lower it down, there it goes. That would have been the one cultivator that didn't work. That would have been my luck just by saying it so confidently that it cultivates. But there you go, that is the Lizard three meter cultivator for you. Uh, today is a day of field prep, so prepare yourselves. Next up, we have the Chisel 7 Li. This is by Yaggies Modding, 4.52 megabytes to download all platforms. This is gonna run you six slots on console, which is, wow, that's a lot of slots for this thing, actually. I feel like compared to the, the Cultivator. Yeah, because if you think about it, this is two slots, this is six. Uh, anyhow, the Chisel 7 Li, 4,000 by 1.8 meter working width. I um, mean, it is a Cultivator. Uh, it only runs at six miles per hour though, so three miles per hour shorter than um, all the other cultivators and several meters shorter than the rest of them. Uh, 55 horsepower required for it. So if we go into here, main color can be adjusted to anything on there. So you can customize it as you wish. We hop in. I lower it down. It will cultivate at six miles an hour. So there you go. And I did, it looked like, uh, maybe it's just me being crazy here, but did it, it didn't actually Take that grass out, did it? Okay, no, I thought it maybe had like created a field there somehow. Okay, there you go. That is the Chisel 7 Li. All right, next up, this is kind of a pack of a couple of mods. So there's two mods released today. The first one is the Amazon TL3001 by Vertex Design. This is 3.86 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms, and this is going to run you on consoles. The TL3001 is four slots. Then they also released um, the Amazon Power Heroes Pack by Vertex Design, 29.82 megabytes to download, and it is for all platforms. These guys are going to run you uh, 17 slots each, I believe, for the Power Heroes. I'm not sure for the Cedar, but we'll go into that in a second. So uh, these two guys kind of work together. There's um, So first off, the Subsoiler, obviously in the store under Subsoilers, right here. It's kind of built to work in this kit, but if we go into here, the TL3001, small, big, you can adjust those down there. Tatchers, the Amazon KE or Standard. Um, I don't think it actually 
matters because the Amazon KE is the uh, power hero is what some of those are. But anyhow, I, I, I anyhow it doesn't matter that much. But uh, 75 to 20 to buy seven miles per hour, three meters, 95 horsepower required. Now, if we go over to power heroes. We have these four that are in this pack. So we have two over here that are three meters. We have the KE KG 3000. Then we have the four meter ones, the KE and KG 4000, all run at nine miles per hour. So 108 or 85 horsepower required, 95 horsepower, 105 at 130. If we go into the store, they all have similar adjustments. So green drill, hitch, hitch, which adds another hitch in the front there. Front attacher, front attacher, front attacher. Back to the green drill, standard, ridge markers, ridge markers and shields, shields, back to standard. Gauge roller 600, tooth packer, tooth packer and lights, tooth packer, wedging roller, back to the cage roller 600. So um, I've had a little bit of issues. This says green drill on it. Um, I don't, it definitely needs a little bit of messing with, with by you guys. I'm not an expert on it. I played with it for a little bit and I had some issues getting certain aspects to hook up, but I finally got a configuration that would hook all three of those up. Uh, well, actually, I need to show you guys the cedar too, huh? Cedar is located in here, very end. Oop, where are we at? Here we are. The green drill, 200E, and it does come in the form of a pallet when you buy it. Now, also, too, on the note for that, this arrow is what you need to have pointing towards your cultivator. Um, but it's 4250 to buy. You can plant canola, oil seed, or grass with it, 3.4 meters wide. Now, I think it, I don't know if it's actually set to 3.4, if it just kind of adjusts to the KE or the KG because they did, those have two different whips. But anyhow... If we hop out of here, let me get this thing taken apart here for you. So there's that guy, that aspect of it. So subsoiler, I lower him down to hook up. And then in this configuration, I was then able to, well, of course now it's not gonna do it. And I, I have super strength on to move this pallet around by the way. So it's that's another pain too. I think they should have it so you can move it by hand, but I have super strength on. So there we go and it hops on. I should be able to lower the whole operation. Now, obviously the subsoiler is not as wide as everything, but uh, the whole operation's on the ground. If I hit B to turn it on, should be able to fill it up with seeds, implant, uh, well, I can do oil seed radish right here, that'll work. And it is planting oil seed radish, so there you go. It does work. Um, there's a lot going on to it and a lot of different customization, which I think is pretty cool. So um, let's see if I can raise the whole thing up. There we go. B to turn it off. There we go. So anyhow. That is the Amazon Power Heroes and the Amazon TL3001. Next up, I have the Anaburger HTS 11D04. This is by Vertex Design. This is 27.45 megabytes to download, and this is for all platforms. If you are on console, this is gonna run you 25 slots. In the store, this can be found under manure spreaders, down here, right here, the Anaburger HTS 11D04. 12 mile power working speed, which I believe is, uh, is that fast or not standard? Okay, um, 11,000. Um, liter capacity max uh, it says 10 meter working width but you can adjust that a little bit and 90 horsepower required it also says it spreads lime actually which we'll take a look at here in a second too uh, so without extension with extension michelin we have a couple options on there as you can see here the board we have a couple options to go a little bit closer so you guys actually can see some of the tires we'll go through those got a couple options there and then back to michelin's now 10 meter working width 12 meter or 15 meter. I have mine in the 15 meter capacity range. So if I hop in here, let's try to fill this up with lime and just see how that goes. Open up the help menu, X to unfold it. And then I should be able to turn it on. It looks like 15 meters there. Now if I F11 and I put manure in it, turn it on again. That looks actually, Oh, yeah, that's about 15. Maybe not quite. I don't know. I feel like it's not going out quite as far. Oh, no, it's probably because that needs... Yeah, it's probably the same because that probably doesn't need fertilizer there. But uh, anyhow, that is the Anaburger HTS 11D04. Up next, we have the Murdane. This is by Yegi's Modding. It is 5.19 megabytes to download. This is for PC and Mac players only. This is found in the store under Weeders. Yes, under Weeders. Right here, the Murdane 3000 to buy 10 miles an hour working speed, 2.3 meters. This equipment can both weed and fertilize. So it's designed to take weeds out of a field as well as, oh, oh wow, that was interesting. I'm inside of it. You can enter it. What in the world? I can start the engine of the roller. No, I can't, it's not allowed to start. <laughs> get in there, open the cover. Oh, that's so strange. Well, um, let's get out of there. 
that was very odd. I don't know why you can get into the roller. Uh, B to turn it on, so if you want to fertilize, you want to turn it on. Um, and if I lower it down, it is adding a fertilizer state, so you can see it's darkening the soil there. Um, and also remove weeds, so there you go. I know this tractor is a bit large for this setup here, but uh, there you go. And to open and close the cover, that does that there for whatever reason. I guess you can... I wonder if you can then disconnect it and... Oh, you can also pull it like that. That's kind of cool. I like that setup there. So you can do both there, three-point or the trailed hitch. So that is pretty cool. Now, if I hit end... <laughs> you can just have it floating back there. But there you go. That is the, uh, the Merdane. Next up and our final mod for the day is the Old Metal Gate. This is by Dwid and Wobble. This is 0.95 megabytes to download. This is for all platforms. If you are on console, it's going to run you one slot. Found in the store under placeables, under miscellaneous. Right here, $1,000 to buy, $2 a day maintenance. It opens up. That's it. <laughs> That's our final mod for the day, guys. If you guys enjoyed this mod review, please drop a like down below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button up on the screen to join the Farmer Cop channel. Turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos I may post. That has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.